Most Adorable Sea Creatures Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. Conjuring up images of sea creatures usually leaves you with frightening images of sharks, jellyfish, and blue bottles, and you wouldn't really think of cute little critters that are non-threatening and look like they just want to cuddle up with you. Okay, it would be like a gross, wet, slimy cuddle, but we'll take what we can get. Here are some of the more endearing creatures from the deep blue sea. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Dumbo Octopus Overall, octopus were last in line when it came to looks, except the Dumbo octopus, who managed to slip through. Cute little eyes, a small button nose, and adorable ears are not the words one would usually use to describe an octopus, but it's befitting for this one. There are 15 species of them, and they're found in oceans all around the world. It's nicknamed after Dumbo, the elephant from the Disney movie, and it uses those ear fins to swim through the water. Between the arms of the Dumbo octopus is webbing, and when it's spread apart, creates a skirt, making the Dumbo octopus even cuter if that was possible. Harbor Seal Harbor seals are certainly cuter when they're pups. As they get older, they look like little old men lounging about enjoying their retirement. They're also known as common seals, and you find them in the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean, as well as the Baltic Sea and North Sea. Adult males can reach lengths of 1.8 meters, or 6 feet, and they can hit speeds of 19 kilometers an hour when swimming. Clownfish Kids around the globe will recognize this adorable fish from the movie Finding Nemo. They also go by the name anemone fish as they live in the anemone in a mutually beneficial relationship. Clownfish are hermaphrodites, meaning they can be both male and female. Puts a slightly different spin on the movie, doesn't it? They're also omnivores, eating plants and animals, and they're common off the coast of Australia and South Asia. Piglet Squid On a cute scale, this one gets a 10 out of 10. Watch for an animated film about these guys, because who could possibly resist those little hair-like tentacles and sweet nose? Due to their tiny size, not too much is known about this elusive creature that lives 320 feet or 100 meters below the ocean surface. They're slow swimmers and often fill up with water, which is released again through a siphon at the top. They often swim upside down, which is still a little puzzling to researchers. Pufferfish it's understandable why they have a bad reputation because once they're puffed out, they're pretty intimidating. Almost all pufferfish are exceptionally poisonous and contain tetrodotoxin, said to be 1,200 times deadlier than cyanide. But putting that aside, when they're not all puffed out and ready to do damage, they are adorable. They have pretty big eyes, and they look like they're smiling at you. Sure, you know of people who are the same, come across as all friendly and doe-eyed, and yet you know the reality lurking beneath that cool exterior. Penguins these flightless birds are some of the most entertaining animals in the world. Head to warmer climates like South Africa, and you'll easily come across colonies of penguins around the coastlines. African penguins communicate with a braying type of sound that's a bit abrasive on the ears, and their average lifespan is 10 years. They can stay underwater for up to two and a half minutes while trying to catch their dinner, which includes small fish, sardines, and sometimes squid. They're not too fussy. They start breeding when they're four years old and lay two eggs at a time. Yellow boxfish. Much like people, the yellow boxfish is at its cutest when it's still a baby. You find these adorable fish in the Pacific and Indian Ocean, and they have, well, an unusual box shape to them. It's hard to imagine this shape does well in water, as there's nothing streamlined about it. But somehow, it doesn't seem to work against the fish at all. As they grow older, their vivid coloring does fade. Like most things in nature, their bright coloring is a warning to potential predators. If they're under stress, their skin excretes a poison, which can be lethal to any fish swimming in the vicinity. Cowfish. This is a type of boxfish and looks a bit like a, you guessed it, a cow. It has two horns on the top of its head and like our yellow boxfish, can also release a poison into the water, which is lethal to surrounding fish. If you were able to gaze deeply into the eyes of a cowfish, you would notice that they actually resemble galaxies. They're exquisite. Those horns can regrow if they get broken too. Nudibranch. There are over 3,000 types of nudibranches in the ocean, and they are all unique. Nudibranches are a type of sea slug, and they're colorful, bright, and uniquely shaped. They're more common in warmer waters, but some have been seen in Antarctica. Some nudibranches make sounds that humans can hear. They are also hermaphrodites, and some people even eat them. This one is adorable and has earned the nickname Shaun the Sheep, because it looks like a fluffy sheep. Pink See-Through Fantasia this name is way more fun than its scientific name, which is Anipniastes eczemia. It's a type of sea cucumber that is found in the Celebes Sea. First discovered in 2007, it's earned several nicknames, including the Headless Chicken Fish, the Spanish Dancer, and the Headless Chicken Monster. 
You're able to see its mouth and intestines, but this cutie is also bioluminescent. Very little is known about this elusive creature. Beluga whale. Not many can beat the all-around cuteness of a beluga whale. They have the sweetest face that looks like they're always smiling. They're found in the Arctic and subarctic and are very sociable animals. In Canadian waters alone, there are roughly 150,000 of them. Their white skin helps them blend into their icy surroundings, but they're not white until they're around 13 years old. They can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes and that unusual bump on their head assists with echolocation. Cheerleader crab. Give me a C, give me an H. Okay, I won't spell the whole thing, but cheerleading crabs or pom-pom crabs look like they're gonna break out and cheer at any moment. Found in the warmer waters of Hawaii, this is the boxer crab. The tiny pom-poms that it looks like it's holding are small sea anemones, which the crab uses as a defense mechanism. They also use it to catch food that passes by and anything remaining is passed on to the anemone. Cuttlefish. If you've ever picked up cuttlefish bone on the beach, it's hard to imagine that it was once attached to a rather sweet looking fish. The white cuttle bone is what remains of the fish once it has died. This bone is a great source of minerals and calcium for birds. Cuttlefish are incredible and have many fascinating features to them. They can manually control their buoyancy, they use their arms to walk across the ocean floor, can change to almost any color and mimic different shapes, can see behind them, and can even hypnotize their potential prey if the need arises. Green Sea Turtle Found in oceans around the globe, the green sea turtle is one of the cutest ocean-dwelling animals. They can reach the ripe old age of 100 years old, and they maintain that cute little face throughout their lives. Sadly, they are endangered due to over-harvesting of their eggs, being accidentally caught in fishing gear, hunted, and there's been a huge loss of safe beach sites for them to nest on. They're not called green sea turtles because of their shell, but rather due to the greenish hue of their skin. Bobtail Squids the Pacific Ocean and parts of the Indian Ocean are where you'll come across the bobtail squid. They're closely related to cuttlefish and reach lengths of just 8 centimeters. They go by several different names, including dumpling squid or stubby squid. They're not naturally bioluminescent, but have developed a relationship with bioluminescent bacteria. This helps them with camouflage and they mimic the moon, which eliminates their shadows. That's great, but what makes it more impressive is that the squid can control the glow of the bacteria living inside it. They're not very active during the day and tend to hide in the sand. If they're disturbed, they change color to match the sand and then escape, leaving behind a trail of ink. Sea otter. This is a love at first sight situation, and there is so much to love about the sea otter. They're the largest member of the weasel family. They have a healthy appetite and eat 25% of their body weight a day. Their typical meal includes sea urchins, clams, mussels, and crabs. Sea otters are also covered in hair. Humans have an average of 100,000 hair follicles on their head, whereas an otter has up to 1 million hairs per square inch. That's roughly the size of a postage stamp. Sea otter pups have such dense hair, they just float about while their mother searches for food. Japanese sea bunnies. These furry sea slugs are too precious for words. Their scientific name is Jaruna parva, and they were discovered off the coast of Japan. They're also found in other areas of the Pacific. This small sea slug is a type of rhinopore, so those two protrusions on the top of their head help them to smell. They will smell out for a potential mate, for food, and to ensure its surroundings are safe. They are also hermaphrodites, and they come in yellow and green, although the green sea bunny is far rarer than the white and yellow. Pygmy Seahorse these miniature seahorses were discovered in 1969 by diver George Bargabant. They're around the size of your pinky fingernail and come in various colors. The most common colors are pink and yellow, but it depends on the color of the coral they're holding onto. They are great at camouflaging and are notoriously shy, making photographing them quite a challenge. Apparently, they are a species of bony fish, closely related to salmon or bass. Glaucus Atlanticus it goes by many names, including blue dragon and blue swallow. This beauty is a type of sea slug found in the warmer waters of oceans around the world. People love calling them the guardians of the sea because they like to eat the Portuguese man-o-war jellyfish or blue bottles. It's not all as pretty as it sounds because the blue dragon can store the venom from its prey. And if you had to handle the blue dragon, you can receive a very painful sting. They float upside down and the surface tension of the water helps them to stay afloat. Glaucus atlanticus are also hermaphrodites. Which of these adorable sea creatures was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. One, pocket shark. 
you are welcome to start belting out baby shark because for once, it would be totally appropriate. This new species of shark was discovered in the Gulf of Mexico in 2010, and researchers have spent a lot of time studying this small kite fin specimen. Only two pocket sharks have ever been caught, and it's been given the scientific name of Mollusquama mississippiensis, which is not mini at all. The head looks like that of a beluga whale, and it's five and a half inches in length. Researchers are excited to continue their search for more pocket sharks in the Gulf of Mexico and are looking forward to discovering even more sea life that hasn't been found before. Thank <laughs> you.